Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, I guess we'll talk about the Fantastic Four. Uh, apparently, this is where Disney's going with it. They announced the cast of the Fantastic Four, and they're too white. They're they're but too one white. One guy's one guy's not white. Well, he's he's Pedro Pascal is the Disney diversity hire apparently. So we'll we'll talk about this. I actually. God, I don't want to be optimistic. I don't want to be optimistic because every time I'm optimistic when it comes to Disney, I get kicked in the nuts. Like literally, Mickey just shows up on my doorstep. He just runs around in the cup now just to try to avoid any any issues. <laughs> Pretty much. But if I were going to make a Fantastic Four movie or I would talk about my ideal Fantastic Four movie, it wouldn't include Pedro Pascal. No. So other than that, I would actually go with a retro aesthetic. I would go with this. The thing looks like himself. He doesn't have tits. That was a rumor. The thing was going to have tits. Uh, well, this is just a tease. This is like a Valentine's Day thing. This is probably not where you're going to get, though. No, we're probably going to get something that's a freaking train wreck. But if they go with the retro futuristic 60s style, they have even got Herbie in here from the cartoon. Mm -hmm. Because you couldn't have the human torch because kids were, you know, they're afraid they're going to light themselves on fire. That's the whole thing. But I think that's amazing. Like, I, I love I love the look of this. It's like I'm getting some Incredibles vibes off of this. But they'll 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 screw it up. It's Disney. I'm, I'm sure they will. But we'll, we'll talk about this before we get to it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Um, speaking of, of screwing things up, uh, I guess before we get into the Fantastic Four, let's address the X-Men 97 debacle. Uh, so X-Men 97, the trailer dropped. I actually thought the trailer looked pretty okay, all things considered. And I do think the showrunner uh, seems pretty solid. That being said, there are some concerns. People are like, okay, so Morph is non-binary now. I just think that's uh, lazy because it's like, like what? Um, they did the same thing with uh, Princesses of Power, the new year where they made double trouble. Like, oh, Lizard. because anytime someone can change shapes, or change into different into different things. Now they're non-binary. I just think it's funny. They're like they're also confirming a fan favorite character is going to be non-binary. Morph is nobody's favorite character. Morph was literally created to die because they didn't want to kill one of the main well, X-Men off in the cartoon, so they created this brand new character for the cartoon. Then they killed him off in the second. People said episode. that they gave more personality later, more uh, yeah, characterization but, later. But look, I mean. On one hand, it does make sense. You have characters that are, you know, changing, shape changing, you know, body all the time, you know, technically. But you still would have your main form. <laughs> fan favorite, fan favorite animated counterparts like Morph. Again, they keep saying Morph. fan favorite. Morph was, nobody liked Morph. I mean, I guess later when they had Dark Morph, that was a whole thing. They had the Dark Morph saga. <laughs> Bad yeah, bags under his eyes. What's, what's their powers? They 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 they, they shape shift. Well, they're morph. Yeah, but it was the same time. Like a dog. It was the same. You can't say that. It, it was the same you're time. Morph, you're morph. They had Mighty Morph and Power Rangers was on. It was the same time they had, uh, you know, Morphin technology in Terminator 2. It was the same time that we saw the Michael Jackson video with the face morphing. So everybody was all into morph, more phenomenal stuff, right? So Morph was the... Oh, was that when they had that one book series too? What was it? Animorphs? Oh, Animorphs. Yeah. Animorphs. So, so why, when is Animorphs coming back? When's that coming back? So I, don't, I look. I, I'm gonna be honest. I got I got other things, other concerns uh, beyond morph being uh, non-binary. If they put morph in as like being non-binary, and and now they them are front and center in every episode instead of freaking just dying and staying down, <laughs> then yeah, you know it's gonna be like okay, what the hell is going on here? People are concerned because Rogue's ass doesn't look like a I a big that. juicy Georgia peach anymore. I saw that. Uh I honestly, I'm not the right person to ask because I have no interest in it either way. But I just think it's it's just funny. But I'm just tired of the same old, as a shapeshifter, so they have to be non-binary. Yeah, that's kind of it's, a it's weird. It's the same thing, you know, being a shapeshifter and being non-binary are just is synonymous, obviously. Apparently, you're just a, a genderless being that can just turn into whatever it's like, the hell it's you like, want to be. I don't know. It's cliche and it's kind of, I, I find it kind of offensive. To the people that are not binary, but that's just me. He looks very femme here compared to the other characters. Kind of, well, I don't know what's. Because I'm a white woman, I'm allowed to say that. 
I'm but, a straight white woman. I'm allowed to, to to decide what's offensive and what's not. Okay. Is that your privilege? Apparently. Because you know, when someone's out there having a meltdown about somebody else, about being offended, it's usually a bunch of white Karens. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, at first I was like, yeah, it looks all right. It looks okay. And then um, people point out the morph thing, which I, I actually wasn't aware of until now. I'm like, ah, shit, of course. Well, if it's just that, maybe. And then they're like, oh, hey, you didn't see the uh, the front cover of the Daily Bugle blown by it had the 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 yeah, gala that, I, didn't I was know. like the gala are you freaking kidding me it's yep. like in 97 no so as soon as i saw the gala thing i'm just like nope nope so it's gonna be exactly what you think. yeah no, my thanks. my optimism has but they they got me with the theme song i didn't think the animation was terrible they at least tried to sort of mat- mesh it up with what they did back then and to be honest like the animation on X-Men, it wasn't that good. I mean, it really wasn't that good compared to Batman, the animated series, compared to the Sumbo G.I. Joe and Transformer shows and gems, stuff like that. The animation on the original X-Men show was not that good. It really was kind of clunky, even compared to Spider-Man. I didn't think it was that good. But um, yeah, I don't know. I was looking but, forward wait, to this so one. Which one, the one in the end here is more? Which one's this? That's more. That, I don't get non-binary from that. No, apparently they're going to turn them into uh, basically the, the changeling. Them into. I'm I, I sorry. Get, I get dude. Sorry. I mean, from well, he, he that, can grow tits whenever he wants to. Well, then maybe, they want uh, you to. know, I'm just saying that's what that's how it comes across. If you didn't tell me, I was just be like, oh, there's a couple girls and three guys. If I eat a lot of cake, I can grow tits, too. Truth is true. Like you, you watch me. I'll eat so much cake. I have such big tits. All right. So let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about somebody who, who doesn't have tits. It's Ben Grimm. And uh, yeah, I am, you were so worried about that. I was like, oh my God, they're going to put tits on Ben. And uh, no, they didn't. Ben Grimm, and looks like Ben Grimm, and I can't remember the guy playing uh, Eben Moss Bacharach. Is that who it is? Yeah. Uh, and Joseph Quinn, who was the guy uh, from Stranger Things playing Eddie. Johnny's Eddie. Yeah. I can, I, can, I can see him being Johnny Storm. I can mm. see it. Uh, the only one I'm not getting the correct vibes from. Uh, Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. Yep. He does not look like Reed Richards at all. I'm not getting Reed Richards from him. He does. He. I'd get Doctor Doom from him before I would get. Yeah. Reed no, Richards. I agree with that. Like I could see him being Doctor Doom. He actually I mean, might maybe, be a good doctor. Maybe he'll do a good job with it. Who knows? But I, I just I'm getting kind of tired of everything is is thinking uh, Pedro Pascal for everything. Everything's come up Pedro. So the rumor is the reason that Pedro Pascal is is Mr. Fantastic is they had to have some diversity because if they went totally retro with the Fantastic Four, which a lot of outlets are praising, by the way, if they went totally retro, they'd have an all white cast. So yeah, that was that's the story now is that the Fantastic Four were too white and that uh, Kevin Feige, being the diverse progressive white guy that he is, <laughs> decided that they had to have a little bit of diversity. So they uh, threw Pedro Pascal. I think that's no. what their excuse they're giving. I think they put Pedro Pascal in because they want to use Pedro Pascal because he's in all, like everything anymore. And they figured we'll just bank on him. Yeah, that no, that's it. That basically, they're they're looking for another Robert Downey Jr. Pedro Pascal is in The Last of Us, which was popular. He's in The Mandalorian, which is popular. And they're just like, yeah, he's bankable right now. So let's get Pedro Pascal. But is he Reed Richards? I, I don't believe he is Reed Richards uh, at all. I there there are like 15 other people I, I would take as Reed Richards over Pedro Pascal. But, you know, whatever. Um, so now is, we don't know. Is the movie going to look like it's the retro type or is this, this is like the funny little thing they put for Valentine's Day? I don't know. Like I could see now I heard before these were rumors and, you know, this is like how many versions of the script or whatever. Uh, and, and they could just be bullshit, but that they were supposedly going to stick the Fantastic Four either in outer space or in the quantum uh, realm. And they were basically it was going to be blast. I was going to the say past. they're making a blast from the past. Yeah, they, they, they were they they went into space or into the quantum realm in the 60s and then they came back to current year. So we got the whole kind of Captain America fish out of water, which I think could work. I mean, I think it. I think it could work. Do I think Disney can pull it off? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Cause they'll probably be like, look how racist and misogynistic they all are. You know, and it's all about Sue storm empowering herself as a woman in the modern era compared to, uh, compared to uh, how she's being kept down by her brother and her boyfriend back in the sixties, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, Ben's going to be gay for Reed. There are going to be jokes. They're going to be dick jokes joke about her brother. 
be you know being gay because they said they said that we got the flaming homosexual joke. Oh right my god, that was, that's low hanging fruit. Comments. It was in the comments you had just a minute ago. Did oh. you see it? No. Go back to the, right Let there. Let me see. So what's the trick? Please tell me you made the human torch gay. The joke's about a flaming homosexual rhythm. See? Oh, my God. I told you. You can't have respected the source material. You have to have screwed with something. Oh, I guarantee you they they did. I can guarantee you. Again, this is a bait and switch. Same with the X-Men. Like, I thought the trailer looked good, but I also thought the He-Man trailer looked good. And look what we got. Mm -hmm. This is too perfect. Like, if you actually did a retro, futuristic, Fantastic Four and uh, you know, leaned in on the uh, the Jack Kirby aesthetic in the 1960s and the space race and all that. It'd be freaking awesome. But they're they're gonna they're gonna yeah. screw it up. You know they're gonna screw us. They're gonna screw it up. Um, I think this is funny though. This is coming from comic book resources, which is usually like, and the bigots are mad. The bigots are so mad. No, they're like, no. The best hope the MCU has is to go retro. Biggest challenge facing Marvel Studios is the MCU's Fantastic Four, and the only choice the filmmakers have is to go back and make it retro. Um, yeah, it's an interesting problem for Marvel Studios thanks to its past adaptations. Their secret weapon has been adapting characters more closely to the comics. Okay. Since when? They need Since to. Since when? Since when? Filmmakers should take the Fantastic Four back to the era when they first became a sensation. I agree. I think, honestly, if I were going to hit I think that's the, what they're hinting they're going to do. I think that's what the whole point of the picture is. I think that's the hint that they're going to do. If I were going to hit the reset button on the MCU, I would actually hit the reset button and be like, you know what? We're going to start it in the 1960s. We're going to start with the Fantastic Four and the X-Men in the 1960s when it makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we'll kind of because the Marvel comics, at least until they had whatever umpteen million reboots, they had like a sliding timeline. It was always like the beginning of the Marvel comics universe was always eight to ten years before the current issue of the comics. So they'd have to kind of go back and be like, OK, yeah, well, Spider-Man has a cell phone now. And he didn't, <laughs> you know, but yeah. it's the same basic origin. But like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, it, uh, that works. Oh, my God. Update by Joshua Patton. Joshua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my Joshua. God. Um, I, but I would be down with this. If they actually could pull it off, I would be down with it. Uh, because I think that that works the best. I think that's why most people consider the Incredibles, the best fantastic but four movie. I do think it's going to be what you said you're hearing where it's going to be, it starts out that way, but then they're going to be like, and then the other in current year. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And they're, they're going to be lectured. They're going to be lectured. They're going to have to have, uh, the rest of the Marvel, the you know, Captain Marvel is going to be there to explain gender politics and gender identity to Mr. Fantastic. Well, I was going to say toxic. they're going to go tell her, you know, Sue Storm, that, you know, you're no longer like the little woman. You, you're your own person now. Yeah. Well, you don't need him. Yeah, you don't need him. Uh, you can go have an affair with Namor. And uh, that that was a rumor, too. They were going to hook because that was a whole thing in the comics, too. But uh, you can go get, you know, banged by Namor. But I'm like. What's no more gonna? Then your marriage is no more. <laughs> your marriage is no more. What the hell is no more? No more. What is he gonna give you that Mister Fantastic can't? Remember, he can stretch everywhere. You want me to stop? <laughs> no <Nah>, more. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think I think uh, his stretching ability would be much. Preferred. I just I'd just be like, look, you know, he might be kind of a dick, but where it counts, you can put up with it. Sue, I know you can put up with it. I don't know. So there we go, guys. Uh, you know, I think it's, I think um, that, God, the 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 teasing, um, the bait and switch is strong with this because I cannot imagine current year Disney, current year Marvel actually giving us an accurate Fantastic Four, an accurate X-Men follow-up. But they're going to tease it because they want you to tune in anyway, right? They mm -hmm. want you to get excited. We're going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.